Hey everybody, my name is Edward Kostakis. I'm here with our good friends over at Popular Mechanics. We are at a AMA field in Brooklyn at Calvert Vaux Park. We're going to be going through initial setup of the Mavic Pro, as well as five easy ways to get beautiful cinematic shots as soon as you're done setting up your Mavic. The way we set up initially our Mavic Pro is we want to open up the top arms. We just do that simply by pulling them forward and the rear arms by pulling them down. What I always recommend to everyone before they start flying is making sure that your props are properly placed and seated in the motor. You can pull from the center of the hub up as well as turn the motor. See if the motor is taking the prop with it. If the motor is taking the prop with it, then it is properly seated. Okay, so we've gone through the initial setup. Let's get into the five different types of shots that we're gonna be doing. So the first one will be the reveal. The second one will be a 90 degree down. The third one will be a point of interest. The fourth one will be a pan. And the fifth one will be a profile tracking. So let's get to it. Okay, so here we are. We have the Mavic Pro is ready for takeoff. We have our return to home location has been updated. Everything's charged up and we're ready to go. One last thing you wanna make sure you do is you do a good functions check before you get it out there and start getting your shots. So I've got my drone at a good altitude. I'm going to push it forward. I'm gonna pitch it forward, make sure that that's working correctly. I'm gonna pitch it backwards, making sure that's working correctly. Rolling left and right. Last thing I'm gonna make sure of is pan, the yaw on the copter, left and right. That seems to be working just fine. Now, let's go ahead and start our shot. So I'm gonna have my camera tilted down 90 degrees, and I'm going to start ascending the drone by pushing up on the left stick, nice and easy. And as I'm pushing up on the left stick, I'm gonna give it a nice steady input to the scroll wheel at the top, left corner of the remote, and I'm gonna bring the rest of this field into the shot. I'm going to slowly release the scroll wheel as I continue my ascent. The next one we're going to do is essentially the opposite of that. So now that we have the drone in position, we have the camera, it is 90 degrees down. It is at a safe altitude. I'm going to bring it back directly behind that tree. And as I am coming back behind that tree, I'm going to reveal. So what we're going to do is gently, we're going to push back on the right stick. That'll give our drone start movement backwards towards the tree. We're going to descend by pushing down on the left stick. And we are going to bring our camera up to horizon. Okay, so the next shot we're gonna be doing, it's the second shot that we had put on our list, and that is the 90 degree tracking. So we're gonna put our drone directly over what it is that we wanna track right now, because we're out and on a field, we don't really have much to track, but I'm gonna show you the general gist of how it goes. We're gonna bring our camera down 90 degrees. I'm going to slightly push up on the right stick, and now I'm tracking directly over the ground. So let's say this was a motorcycle or someone in a car would be able to track them by doing this 90 degree shot. All right, so the next shot we're gonna be doing is the point of interest shot. And that's really where the DJI Mavic and other DJI products come into its own because that is something that is assisted through the app. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fly directly out over our, our point of interest. And next what I'm going to do is tap on my intelligent flight features menu and click on point of interest. I then need to record the POI. Once that's recorded, I can then back away. I'm going to then hit apply and start my rotation. The drone will now autonomously fly a perfect circle around this tree that we've deemed to be our point of interest. I can control the rate at which it flies around that circle. I can also have it go the other way. Remember, this is all autonomous. I'm not doing anything right now. I'm not giving it any stick input. However, if I want to make the circumference larger for the drone, all I have to do is on the right-hand stick, I can just push back. I can also push up on the right-hand stick to bring the radius to a smaller degree. While I'm doing that, I can also ascend by pushing up on the left stick or descend. And there you have it. That's the point of interest. Okay, so the fourth shot we're going to be going over is just a smooth, steady pan. Right now I'm hovering at about uh, 10, 12 feet right behind a tree, and we're going to do a nice smooth pan from left to right. You notice I'm not going to have to do anything with my right thumb. All I'm going to do is I'm going to start my shot by pushing gently right on the left stick. Nice and easy. And once we come to the end of our shot, what we want to do is release the left 
Joystick nice and easy so we come to a nice slow stop. So the last shot we're going to be doing today is the profile tracking shot. And that's another intelligent flight mode feature that the DJI products come with. I'm going to access the intelligent flight modes again by tapping on the remote at the left hand side of the screen. You're going to notice at the top right now it says active track. All I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on active track. I'm going to make sure that my subject is framed center frame like so. I'm going to tap on my subject. Then a couple of options are going to appear on the right hand side. For today's purposes we're going to be doing profile. So I'm going to tap on profile. Now I don't have to worry about anything else. All I'm going to do is hit record, yell action and the drone will do the rest. You'll notice that it's tracking the subject all by itself. I don't have to touch anything. Now, very much like the point of interest, what we can do is I can start to move the drone further ahead of him and the drone will still keep him in the center frame. By rolling right, I can still ascend and the drone will keep the distance away from our subject. I can move to the other side and then descend and have a perfect shot the entire time. And you'll notice that the camera is actually keeping our subject center frame the entire time. All right, everybody, that pretty much wraps it up for us here today. My name is Edward Kostakis. Until I see you guys again, remember, time flies when you're having fun, so let's be safe out there. <laughs>